So let's just quickly review Stamen. And then we have these review sheets. All right. Now. And we're going to talk about that. And then we will get into, oh my God. At some point, I'd like to get into the new topic for today, which is rebids. But okay, so stay. <laughs> oh, so tell me, and again, unless everyone's talking at the same time, we can just keep our mics unmuted. Uh, tell me what you remember from statement. Just somebody shout out something. Okay, that uh, you're a responder and you have eight points at least. What are you and responding you have four to? Major, to one no Trump. Okay, let's from. hang on to that. Okay, so you're responding to your partners. Responding always means that your partner has made a bid and you're answering. You're responding to one no Trump. Can we also say responding to two no Trump? Yes. 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 So you're responding to a one no Trump or two no Trump opening bid by your partner. What else did we learn about? That is a response to a one no Trump or a two no Trump. Four card major. I have eight. What was the other convention that we learned about? Did you do that? Jacoby, Jacoby, Jacoby transfer. Jacoby, remember Jacoby transfer. Okay. And if you remember, Jacoby transfer had the function of trying to find a fit in a major suit. Is that true for statement as well? Yes. 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 So you're trying to find a fit in a major suit. And the way you're going to do that is you're going to tell your partner that you have a four card major, four card major. So you have a four card major, which would be either four hearts or four spades or both. And what else do you have? If you're eight, responding to one no trump. Card, eight high card points. Are you gonna count a point if you have five or not, because if one is a no trump, do you give yourself an extra point if you have five? Five in what, in the major? A major, yes. If you have five in the major, you're not going to use this convention. You're going to use Jacoby. Oh, right, right. Oh, yes. Okay. okay. All but right. So, you have, have eight, so you have eight points. But if you have five in a minor, you're going to count that extra point or not when you're doing uh, no trump? At this point, at the level that you guys are at, I'd like them to be high card points. Okay. Okay. So, because just in case you end up in no Trump, high card points is what's going to count. Right. Cool. All right. So you have so you have a four card major. You have eight points, and your partner has opened one no Trump. I'd like everyone to notice that that does not you do not need eight points if your partner has opened two no Trump, because if your partner has opened two no Trump. They've got 20 or 21 high card points already. So you don't need eight. You would need four, five points, right? Yeah. Four or five points. You need enough so that you could be in a game, which would be like around 25 points. So if they have 20, 21, four or five would be enough to use staining. Any questions about that? Everybody understand that? Okay. I thought Good. you were talking about Jacoby just then. No, no. I'm talking about Stamen. Okay. I'm talking about Stamen. The difference between Jacoby and Stamen is that Jacoby, you have you're showing a five card major, but you don't need any points at all. All right. So it's let's good. stick with Stamen. So Stamen is a response to a one no Trump or two no Trump opening bid by partner, it's showing a four card major and eight points. How do you show that? And Sandra, I know you have a lot of know, answers. You know, Let's I let know. somebody else <laughs> chime in. How do you show that you have a four card major and eight points when your partner has opened one? Two, two, two clubs. Two clubs. Two clubs is your response. And if the question is, how does partner know? that you're not just bidding clubs? The answer is, if you use stamen, you always use stamen. Two clubs will never be a response that shows that you have clubs. It always has to mean, partner, I have a four card major and eight points. What if you actually do have clubs? You're probably better off in no trump. Okay, you're probably better off playing in no trump if you have a lot of cards in a minor suit. 
even if you have six cards in that suit? Yes. Okay. There is something, which I'm not going to bother teaching you now. There is something called a minor transfer to show that you have okay. five cards in a minor suit. You can research that on your own. I don't happen to use that. If I think I have a lot of cards in a minor suit, I'm going to stick with no trump. Okay. So, but this, is, this statement is specifically to find a fit in a major suit. Okay. So my partner has opened one no trump. I'm looking at my cards. I see four hearts. And my partner says... And I say two clubs. I also have eight points. It comes back to my partner. My, my opponents haven't bid. When my opponents bid, it kind of throws away the convention. Let's assume my opponents haven't bid. What will my partner say in response to my response of two clubs? He will bid his four or five cards. He card. will bid his four card major if he has one. <laughs> if he has four hearts, he will say, two hearts. I'll say one no trump. I'll say two clubs. Partner, I have a four card major and eight points. I'm using stamen. He will say two hearts. Okay, I know what his four card major is. If he has four spades, one no trump, two clubs, two spades, I know what his four card major is. Mm -hmm. If he has both four cards, sorry, <clears throat> four hearts and four spades, he will bid the hearts first. That doesn't mean we don't have a fit. If I have four spades and I use the stamen, and he said one no trump and I said two clubs looking at my four spades, and it comes back to him and he says two hearts. That doesn't mean we don't have a fit in spades. He just didn't get a chance to bid it yet. You guys see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I had a question asked of me this week. Somebody from the class emailed me saying, well, what do you do? I mean, if your partner, if, if you're sitting there looking at four spades and you say two clubs, you know, partner, I have a four card major and your partner who said, well, no Trump says two hearts, do you automatically go to no Trump? No. And the answer is no, because he might have four spades and just didn't get a chance to bid it yet. So you can then say two spades to show that you have four spades. The other thing you can do if you want to is you could say no Trump. Not the person who opened no Trump. You could say no Trump. So this is how the, that could work. This is your choice. He says one no Trump. You've got four spades. You say two clubs. He says two hearts, showing that his he has either four hearts or four hearts and four spades. You don't have four hearts. You had four spades. You could then say no Trump to show that there's no fit in hearts and he'll know that you have four spades because you used stamen and you didn't like his hearts. You follow what I'm saying? Yeah. Right. You could do that or you could just bid two spades. Now, when it gets back to opener, opener has shown you his hearts, you've rejected them, responder, you've bid the spades. When it gets back to him, he can either support your spades if he actually had four spades, or now he can bid no Trump again. That would be at the three level, right? It depends. Does he have 15 points or 17 points? You only promised him eight points, right? That's right. You promised him eight points. So if he's sitting there opening one no Trump with 15 points, I think it's a little risky to jump to three no Trump. Right, I see. So he would then say two no Trump and leave it up to you because you know how many points you have. I'm, I'm confused. Can you just repeat this last little part again? You, you, had, two, you, had, you had two diamonds, so you said- You, you have two you diamonds? Had four, you had four hearts. Okay, opener says one clubs. no Trump. Okay, I'll write it down. Opener says Thank one you. no Trump. You say two clubs, right? You've got right. four spades. Yeah. Opener then says two hearts showing his four card major, but he in fact could also have four spades, right? Yes. It's your turn. You now say two spades because in fact you don't have four hearts. You only had four spades. You say two spades. 
How many points does the two spades have in this case? Eight? You have eight. Got it. Okay. Even if you had 10, you would do the same thing. Right. But you're gonna, looking I'm, for a fit. You're not jumping to game. I understand. But, okay. Excuse me. So now opener. Opener. Yes, understands that you don't have hearts because when he bid his hearts, you went, you went to spades. So he will now go to no trump because there is no fit in a major suit. The question is at what level is he going to bid no trump? Well, you only promised him 15 points when you, you only eight. promised him eight points eight. when you used Damon. So if he has 15 points, he's not jumping a game. So he's going to say to no trump because he doesn't see that there's enough points for game but there might be, he's inviting you, and he doesn't see a fit in a major suit. And with eight points, you will, let me finish, please. If with eight points, you will pass, responder, but with 10 points, you'll go to game. Yes, with please. nine points, it's a judgment call. It's in that in-between land. You'll have to make a decision based on other stuff going on in your hand. Okay, now is there a question? But what if, what if opener does have four spades? Ah, he then he'll then he'll go with the spades. Okay, so now opener has four spades. So he says one no trump. He has four hearts and four spades, right? Right. You said two clubs. He says two hearts because he has four hearts and four spades. You say two spades, partner. I don't have a fit. He will now support your spades because you told him you have four and he has four. It's all going to depend on how many points he has. It's the same thing as when he said two no Trump before. If he has 15 points, he will say three spades and invite you to game. Right? Mm -hmm. He's not going to say four spades because even though there's a fit in spades, if he has 15 points and you have eight, you don't have enough points for four spades. But and he will leave it up to you. With eight points, you'll pass. With 10 points, you'll say four spades. With nine points, Flip a now, call. You can call. now you can include but singletons, doubletons, how you feel it, that day. Would it be better, though, if instead of bidding to spade, because then you would be the declarer and you don't have the points and the opener would have all those points on the board would it be smarter perhaps to bid after the two hearts i don't have those hearts as spades to no trump my partner would know i don't have hearts wouldn't know i have spades but if you remember if you remember i did say that i said that just a couple of minutes ago i said that's another choice you have you can bid to no trump it's your, I mean, you're going to get to no Trump anyway, if there's no, if there's no fit in, in spades. And if you'd rather be, if you'd rather not take a chance on opener being the dummy, then you could say two no Trump. He says one no Trump. You say two clubs, partner, I have a four card major. He says two hearts, here's my four card major. You say two no Trump, sorry, don't have hearts. He's going to know that if you use stamen and you're not supporting his hearts, then it must be spades that you have. And he can then bid the spades, right? Yes, yes. He can then bid the spades and then your hand will be the dummy hand. You could do it that way too. It's either way, it's gonna come out to be spades if there's a fit in spades or no trump if there's no fit in spades. But if you remember, I mentioned that a couple of minutes ago. Yes, okay, I think we're good with Stamen. It's been yes. close to 20 minutes and I'd like to go on. Any final questions on Stamen? Okay, I think we got it. All right, so last week after we did Stamen, we started doing a review. Oh, there you are. We started, <laughs> I just put on my glasses. We started yes. doing a review of all the stuff from Beginner's Bridge. Angela, do you have that? Those sheets? Yes. Good, good. Okay, I believe we went over page five. Am I correct? Yes. 
I don't think we did page six. No. But I did ask you to kind of make some notes. And if you didn't uh, do it for homework, well, you know, no one's going to give you a demerit, but it would have been to your advantage. So let's just go over it and have a trusty pencil handle handy. So take some notes, because even though you might have written something for those, somebody might add something. Oh, yeah, I want to remember that. All right. So my question was, on top of page six, what, when would you bid a suit more than once if your partner hasn't bid it? With six cards in that suit. That's the answer. That is the only thing that you say when you have six. But Anne, I have five now. <laughs> you don't want to mislead your partner in how many you have, because if you tell your partner you have six by bidding it twice and you really don't have six, what have you done? You've made your partner think that you have a fit when he only has two. And then you'll end up playing it with only seven trumps. That's not safe. Eight is the fit that you need. Minimum of eight together is what you need to play with a certain suit as the Trump suit. Call it the golden fit. Okay? What would you like to tell me about a penalty double? Somebody jump in. Well, you think that they're not gonna make it. That's what it is. It's a double you make when you think the opponents have bid a, a contract that they're not going to make. Marie, what did you want to add? That uh, you have stoppers. Tell us about that. What does that mean? Uh, you may have uh, two aces or an ace king. So, so you what you're saying is that you're looking at your hand and you see tricks. Right. Right. So you can account for tricks in your hand that will keep them from making the contract. For example, you have, this is kind of an extreme case, you have all four aces. Right? You got all four aces in your hand and they're at a contract of four spades. If you make, make a trick with each of your four aces, will they make their contract? No. No. So you will say double. How will your partner know, because there's other kinds of doubles, how will your partner know that what you're saying is when they, I don't think they're going to make it? Played in the bidding. That's Sorry? Late in the bidding. I think what you're trying to say is that that double is coming at a high level in the bidding. Yes. Right. So if they're up to game, game level, four hearts, four spades, five clubs, five diamonds, three no trump, if they're at game level and, and someone's doubling, they're saying, I don't think they're going to make it. But if somebody opens one heart and their opponent doubles, they're not saying they're not going to make one heart. So if you're pretty sure that your partner is making a penalty double, saying that they don't think the opponents are going to make their contract, should you bid or should you not bid? Pass. Yes. Well, double is Get a alone. bid. Double Trust is your bid. partner. Do not bid. I've gotten burned a couple of times playing trickster where I've doubled, where I used a penalty double a little too early. And my surprise was they swapped suits on me with, you know. Well, that's the other thing. That's the other, here's, here's something else to keep in mind. Thank you, Michael, for bringing that up. Let's say your opponents have been going back and forth between two suits. Somebody opens hearts, their partner says spades. They go back to hearts and spades and hearts and spades or clubs and whatever it is. And they end up in a contract let's say four hearts, and you don't think they're going to make it. You take a chance when you double that they can now switch back to spades, the other suit they've been thinking about. And maybe you don't have a double in spades. Maybe one of the reasons you had a double in hearts is because you had a couple of nice high hearts. You had the ace king of hearts, where in spades you have nothing. So if you had just kept your mouth closed and not doubled, they would have ended up in hearts and you would have defeated them. Does everyone understand what I'm saying? Anybody not know what I'm talking about, including me? No. Anyone not know what I'm talking about? Okay. So you take that chance. So so sometimes if they're going, if they're going back and forth between two suits, and you think that if you double, you're giving them an opportunity, like Michael said, to switch the suits on you, maybe it's prudent not to make a, a penalty double. So you're going to have to assess each situation as it comes up. Okie doke. Okay. 
when would you bid the same suit as your partner? There's only one answer to that. If you have a golden match. Okay. When okay. you have a fit. Yeah. And a fit is eight cards. Which means if they bid the suit twice, like we talked about in the first one, showing you six, you can bid the same suit as your partner if you have two. Because six and two is eight. Okay. You might want to add to this, you don't always have to automatically bid the same suit as your partner if there's a fit. If you have a, another suit that you want to show him first, you could do that. So if partner opens one spade and you've got three spades, but you also have six gorgeous diamonds, no one is saying, oh, I have to show him my spades first because we have a fit. You can show him the diamonds, but you're not going to keep that spade fit a secret. On your next bid, you'll show him the spades. Get it? You don't automatically have to show the fit, but you should at some point show the fit. <laughs> All right. What's a takeout double? It's a forced bid. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's a forced bid. You can put that down. It's a double that you make right after your opponents have bid. So Angela says, Angela's north. Angela says one spade. I'm east. I bid right after Angela. See, I pick on you when you knew. <laughs> I bid right after Angela. I don't have spades worth anything, but I've got four hearts, four, four diamonds, four clubs, and I have opening points. I cannot overcall because I don't have enough points. I don't have five. Right. Remember, I need five in a suit to overcall. That's why it's okay if you miss the video because I review and I review and I review. You need five cards to overcall. I've got opening points. I don't have a five card suit. I've got four cards in each of the suits that my opponent hasn't bid. Does this sound familiar to you? Yes. <laughs> Three Those to of four you that cards. have gone over your notes, it sounds familiar. Those of you that yes. haven't. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Angela opens one spade. I, I have four hearts, four clubs, four diamonds, and 14 points. I would like to have a way to show my partner my 14 points, but I cannot overcall in my clubs and my diamonds and my hearts because I don't have five. So I say double. Take Same thing I would say when I don't think my partner's going to make the contract. I say double. It's a takeout double. My partner must respond to me by showing me her best suit. What if she has nothing? She has no points at all. She will respond to me. It's a forcing. When someone said before it was a forcing bid, it's forcing for my partner when I double. Because if I if they don't bid, then it's going to be one spade doubled. And if everybody passes, Angela's going to play it in one spade and she's going to make it probably. It's kind of and hard to go down at the one level. And showing your best hand could be- um, Best suit. Mind. Best suit, Michael. I meant best suit. It could yeah. be clubs. It could be anything, but the best anything, okay. anything at all. And uh, if you uh, look over the notes that I gave you, I'll, I'll see you in a second, Sandra. If yeah. you look over the notes that I gave you for takeout right. double way back in Beginner's Bridge, you will notice that people who respond to their partner's takeout double will bid differently based on how many points they have. There's a little jump involved if you have extra points. Look over those notes. Uh, if you're new to the class and you didn't take Beginner's Bridge. I believe those pages are still accessible. You can contact the library. Certainly the lessons are accessible on, on YouTube, if not the notes. Sandra, you had a question? Yes. Uh, if you uh, respond, if you make the takeout double, you say double, you're promising at least three each in the unbid suits. You don't have a void. You don't have a, a singleton, a double. You could, have, you you must could have. have a void. No, but even if you had a void in opponent suit, I think that would mean you had to have a five card yeah, suit five. somewhere else. Okay, right. So that you could overcall, which would, which means I meant that you could three overcall. In, three, at least three in the unbid suits. That is correct. Okay. Four is better, but three is minimum. Okay. Because you're promising that whatever your partner bids, you can support. You can't support it with two. You'd have to have at least three. Okay. Um, any questions? I have a question. Yeah. 
when you were discussing when you would uh, bid the same suit as your partner, if you yes. have a fit with your partner, your partner says a heart, you have hearts. Yes. Why would you mention another suit? Why not tell them right away what you have? What's the what's the purpose? What if he's got what if he's got um six diamonds and five hearts? And you've got six diamonds and three hearts. You might actually, even though major suits are better, you might not have a game in hearts, but you might have a game in diamonds. See what I'm saying? Because I feel when you mention a new suit, I'm also telling my partner, I don't have a fit with you. But now but I'm telling you that's not true. Right. I never played. If you suit. never mention the suit in which you have a fit, that's what you're telling. But you don't have to say it on the first bit. So you're only saying to say it if you have, if you, I can see saying it if you have six, but if you have three and five, why not go right to the major and tell them I am. Depends what the five are. If I'm sitting there looking at a, at a seven, six, three in the suit in which I have a fit with my partner and an ace, king, queen, jack, 10 in the other suit, I'm going to show the ace, king, queen, jack, 10 well, before I show the little okay. tiny fit. It, you know, there's no hard and fast rules. We have to make a judgment call based on the hand. Okay. Let me let me see the bidding on this one. Your partner says, uh, I don't know, one heart. Okay. You you have three hearts, but you have six diamonds. Yes. So you say, I'm going to show him some diamonds. So I say six one diamond. I say um, two diamonds in that case. It would Depending be. on your points. Right, right. To go and to it, the next level, remember, you need 11 points. All right. So that would be a bad example. So I wanna, No, it wouldn't be a bad example. I have 11 points. I say two All right. Diamonds. That's reasonable. Now, is it, no, the partner doesn't know anything. Oh, excuse me. Michael, ha hang on to that thought for a second. Here's the other thing. If I have six diamonds and three hearts, but I only have six points, then I'm going to support the hearts. Right. I can't show my diamonds. Got it. Right. Because you couldn't. Know that. Okay. So, anyway, so the point is you go to, people, you please go, don't you, talk. If you go to diamonds, you go to diamonds, and your partner doesn't know anything about your hearts or, uh, that match. Uh -huh. So he says, uh, I don't know. So he might try another suit, possibly. Uh -huh. okay. Or he might say no, Trump. Okay. If or he, he might repeat his, his hearts if he has six of them. Okay, but it's your when you get around to your bid, you could show them heart support by then right. getting hearts, right? That's okay. what I've been saying. Okay, I just want to, I know, but my brain is COVID fogged, so yeah. Oh no, I'm gonna send yeah. over Rotor Rooter and we'll suck out all the COVID. Okay, I've been, so we're I've been good. Trying to do that for a year. No, I'm fine. I'm yeah. I'm, I'm, just by, I'm, di I'm I'm I got COVID head for the last year. Only all right, guys, I I'm, I'm no, trying to I don't get it. I I don't get it. I, I mean, the, the, let's take the example you just did. The, uh, your partner bids one heart. Yes. You have six diamonds and three little hearts. Yes. So you're going to bid diamonds. Depends your on your points. Ten points. I like want to said. read. Who, who am I talking to? Well, I, I I'm not going to take time to find the name. Madeline. This is what I'm. This is what I'm trying to say. You cannot bid two diamonds over one heart. You cannot go to the second level and change the suit unless you have 11 points. So if you have fewer than 11 points, the subject is mute, moot. Sorry, the subject is moot. <laughs> you are going to just support the hearts. Thank you, that was a very good okay. point. Thank you. Let's yes. assume you have 11 yes. points. Yes. But they're I'm not all in question. diamonds. Okay. You, have, you want... have the 11 points, but they're not all in diamonds. Yes. But you have six diamonds and three little mm -hmm. hearts. Yes. And let's say some of the points are in other suits. Who cares? It's irrelevant. Okay. You come back to your <laughs> your partner who bid one heart, who has no idea you have the three little hearts, and maybe has some little diamonds, maybe doesn't have. Um, how do they know? You know. Because he, they he no have. To, here's the answer, and then I'm going to move on. When Can you I change <laughs> the suit. Yeah. People are talking, guys. Please. When you change the suit responder, opener has to bid again. Opener must bid again. He says one heart, I say two diamonds. He says one heart, I say one spade. He says one club, I say one diamond. If, if responder changes the suit, whether or not they go to the two level, 
As long as they say a different suit from opener, opener must fit again. Because opener <laughs> will not know exactly how, what the point range is. As long as opener has to bid again, responder gets another chance to bid. So whatever opener says on their second bid, you responder now will have an opportunity to show support. If a person opens with five spades, it's an opening hand, 13 points, <clears throat> you have to open with 13 points, correct? Some people play with 12, go ahead. Okay. And, and you have three hearts, you know, right there you have- He opens one spade and you have three hearts? I, I, I respond, I have, I have spades, so I'll say spades. I know he has 13 points. Yes. I have a lot of points in my hand. I go by what's in my hand. That's a good fit. He should know that I have- Okay, I'm not gonna, I'm not, I've been spending 20 minutes on this. You, if you don't wanna show your second suit, you go right ahead and not show your second suit. I am trying to advise you. I don't want to debate you. I'm trying to advise you. The purpose of bidding is to describe your hand. If you have a six card suit or even a gorgeous five card suit and you don't show it and all you show is the support to your partner, you are not describing your hand. Okay, I got it. And and can you I will ask? have an opportunity because your partner must bid again if you change the suit. You'll have an opportunity to show the support on the second time. Right. He's not it. stupid, your partner, right? You don't play with stupid partners. <laughs> he will know if you're supporting him on the second time that you had that support for him all along, but you showed him something else. And he's not going to be at a loss to figure out why did she show me a suit before she showed me support? Oh, it must be gorgeous. Okay, yes. trust yes. me when I tell you these things. I know what I'm talking about. Uh, and can I ask you a question? I, uh, I think this is going to be no. the last one because okay. I really we have been into a situation three times yesterday where my partner opened. I could not support her suit at all. I had uh -huh. more than 10 points, so I didn't want to stay on the one level. I did not have a five card suit. What do and nobody bid in, in between, so I can't double. Give me a, give me a specific example. Partner, I had one what? spade, she opened one spade. I had only one spade in my hand, 14 points, and four of the other three suits. Okay, so you can go to the two level in a minor. You can't go to two level in hearts because you need five hearts to go over the spades, but you could have said two clubs, two diamonds. And that, I don't have to have five to do that. No. Oh, okay. I didn't Arts, know. Yes. Yeah. Arts, yes, but not the minors. Couldn't okay. she have did no trump? Could have. Well, it depends. We if, your clubs, if your clubs and your diamonds and your hearts were all pretty equal, then no trump would have been the way to go. But she had too many points for one no trump. That's mm -hmm. right. So you say two no trump. Well, but then we were playing the convention where two no trump means over 10 points. And so oh, wait a minute. You can't say two no trump over a major. That's right. It's probably two no trump. So then right. that's why that's why you show the minor. Okay. Okay. You. You're welcome. All right. So over calls. Got it. Oh, redoubles. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm not going to ask for the answers now because we're going to get into like debates on everything. So I'm just going to give you the answer. Redoubles. Redoubles is generally generally happens after a penalty double so if elsa has bid four hearts and she's north and i'm east and i'm sitting there with what i see is four tricks in my hand and i say no way is elsa going to make four hearts and i double and it gets back to elsa because remember even the double has to be followed by three passes right a double is a bid everything has to be followed by three passes so if i double as east it, the, the double doesn't stick unless three people after that pass. So it gets back to Elsa, who may be bid of four hearts. If she sits there and says, hey, I'm going to make this. I know I'm going to make this. She could say redouble. If she actually makes it, she will make a lot more than had she not redoubled. But if she doesn't make it, my side will make a lot more because it was doubled and redoubled. It's only a scoring thing. Overcalls. Overcall, if your opponents have made a bid, you can overcall with a five card suit. Five card suit. Overcall is not when your partner has bid. This is when your partner hasn't said a word. Otherwise, you're not overcalling. 
otherwise you're responding. So you can overcall only with a five card suit. If you overcall at the one level, Gail says one diamond, I say one heart. I'm overcalling at the one level. I can do it with a five card suit and as few as 10 points at the one level, as long as I have at least two stoppers, two high cards in that suit. In that case, it does matter what suit I'm, I have it in. But if, for example, Marie opens one heart and I want to overcall in diamonds with five diamonds, I would then have to overcall the two level, wouldn't I? Yes. I can't say one diamond after one heart. I have to say two diamonds after one heart. In that case, I want you to have opening points. Still have to have a five card suit. Okay. Responding to partner's opening bid in a major suit. If you choose to show <laughs> support for your partner's major suit with at least three, because they're showing you five, the level at which you respond is going to be based on how many points you have. So let me pick on somebody else who I haven't picked on yet. It looks like a likely candidate. I'm going to pick on you, Tom. Hi, Tom. Hi. How are you doing? I'm okay. Thanks. So Tom opens one spade, and I'm looking at three spades in my hand. I don't have this gorgeous second suit that I want to show him. I want to go right to showing him that we have support. First of all, I need to have how many points to open my mouth? Six. 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 Without six points, I shut up in the mouth. All right. So I will either say two spades, three spades, or four spades. <coughs> it's all going to be based on how many points I have. So there's something called a simple raise. I am just going to bid his suit, promising a fit, at the two level if I have six to ten points. Are there people out there who play six to nine? Yes, not me. Six to 10 points. He says one spade, I say two spades. He says one heart, I say two spades. He will now know what my point range is. So if he's got 13 points and I just showed him six to 10 points, do we have game? No. no. Oh. Unless I bid wrong, we don't have game. So he'll know he probably is not going to bid anymore. Because if you don't have a chance for game, you stop bidding. If I have 11 or 12 points and I have a fit with him, which means I have at least three, and he says one heart or one spade, I will then say three hearts or three spades. <coughs> and he'll know it's not six to 10 points. It's 11 or 12 points. It's up to him if he wants to go to game. That is correct. Now it gets a little iffy. It depends on the conventions you play. If your partner opens in a major suit, you have support for him and you also have opening points. June mentioned something about Jacoby to no Trump, that convention for now, because I haven't taught you. Am I teaching you Jacoby to no Trump in this class? You mentioned it. Yeah. I mentioned it. Last time. Well, oh, I'm not teaching it to you. I will try. I will try to squeeze it in. For now, based on what you know, I would say with opening points and supporting your partner suit, major suit, you can go right to game. It is not the way really experienced people play. They play this other convention, but don't worry about it because I'm not going to, you're not ready for it yet. So just know that, okay, they've got 13 points, I've got 13 points, they've got five in the suit, I've got three in the same suit. We have enough points and we have enough trump cards to go to game. Everybody good? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Is there another way to play? Yes, but don't worry about it. And Responding to partners, oh, and, yeah, Tom. Okay, you open, you could have between 13 and 21. You have 18 points and your partner comes back at, the, at the, the level of game. You can then decide to ask for aces and think about oh, slam. That's, a, that's above my pay grade, okay. Okay, which is why we use this other convention. But what Tom is saying is you have between 13 or really 12 and 21 points when you make an opening bid. So if Tom says one spade 
and I go to four spades showing that I have 13 points of my own plus three spades, he's looking at 19 points. He's saying, we're gonna make a lot more than just four spades. We've got 32 points between us. He may decide to explore the idea of slam. Have we talked about Blackwood asking for aces? No, not yet. Okay, we got a lot to do. <laughs> All right, so, so there are things you can do once you think you have enough points for slam. Remember, slam is level six, right? Yeah. Baby slam, grand slam. Yes. Okay, Report, responding to partners opening bid in a minor suit. Your partner opens one club or one diamond. Remember, they're bidding the better of two minors. Remember, we had all that. Your job, Mr. Phelps, is to show a major suit. So I don't care if you have a fit with them in a minor. So hi, Linda. Hi. I remember you, Linda. So Thank Linda you. opens one diamond and I have five diamonds. Woohoo! We have a fit, but I have four spades. Know what I'm gonna bid first? Four spades. One spade. Why? She could have four spades in her hand and still have opened one diamond, why? But she doesn't have five card major. She didn't have five spades. If I don't show her my four card major, I can kiss the idea of, of finding a fit in a major suit goodbye. So she opens in a minor, I am going to show her that I have a four card major. If we don't have a fit in a four card major, we'll probably we'll either end up in a minor or no trump. Now, if I don't have a four card major and she opens in a minor, if I have support for her minor, I can bid it. If I don't have support for her minor, I can bid no trump. You see what I'm saying? All right, and one of my notes says, if you bid no trump, it doesn't have to be balanced. It doesn't. That, but it doesn't. I have to tell you though, if I support her minor suit, I better have five. Because is there a chance she only has three? Yeah. There is yes. You need more points. Okay. Onward. Jacoby transfer. I, I mentioned it before. Jacoby transfer is when your partner has opened in one no trump or two no trump. And you have five cards in a major suit. And you're hoping maybe he has three cards in that suit and you've got a fit. It below her suit. You do not have to have any points at all. You will then bid the suit that is under the suit that you really have. It is the one that's under it in the bidding scale. So what is under hearts? Diamonds. Uh, yeah. What is under diamond? What is under spades? Hearts. So if your partner opens one no trump and you're sitting there looking at five hearts, no matter what your points are, you will then say two diamonds when it's your chance to bid. What does your partner have to say? Your partner must transfer to your suit. Oh. So if, um, if oh, I forgot her name. And uh, I'll do Florence because I, I just see M and I don't remember her name. Uh, Florence opens one, uh, one no trump. I've got five hearts. I'll say two diamonds. It goes back to Florence. She must say two hearts. The whole idea is that she's bidding the suit that I have instead of me. Why? Because then I end up being the dummy hand, the one with the fewer points. If she bids it, I'm the one with all the hearts, but she's the one that's going to play it. Uh, um, on the other hand, if she bids one no trump and I've got five <coughs> spades, my bid will be two hearts. When it gets back to her, she'll say two <clears> spades. <throat> she'll bid if my you don't suit. have a major suit, what do you, what do you bid? on the response to one that's on your points if you don't have a five card major yeah. but you have eight points in a four card major you can use stamen if you don't have any points and you don't have a major suit and your partner says no trump pass okay that's what i figured okay yes okay so the bidding will continue if the person who used jacoby transfer has some points and I gave you that breakdown. I'm not going to go over it all now. But I gave you the breakdown if you have this point. Okay. This is really not a whole new lesson on each thing. It's just a, a review. Standing convention, I'm not going to do because we just did it. Invitational bids. 
any bid that you make just under game level is an invitation. So if your partner opens one no trump and you say two no trump, you're inviting him to game. Why didn't you go to three no trump yourself? Because you don't see enough points there. And you'll let you'll um, leave it up to your you'll leave it up to the opener to make the decision. Same thing if he says one spade and you say three spades, showing 11 or 12 points, you're leaving it up to opener whether or not to go to game. Balanced hand. Balanced hand is what you need to open one no trump or two no trump. It shows, it doesn't show any particular amount of points, but it shows no singletons, no voids, and at most one doubleton. And that's the definition of a balanced hand. Distribution points are counted at the beginning before you know if there's a fit. They're added to your high card points to determine how many total points your hand has. And you get distribution points by counting one point for every card over four. So if you have a five card suit, that's one extra point. If you have a six card suit, two extra points. If you have two six card suits, woohoo! That means you got a singleton somewhere in a void. If you have two six card suits, you get two points for the extra cards in the first suit, and two points for the extra cards in the second suit. What do you get for the singleton and the doubleton, uh, singleton and the void? Nothing yet. Not until you've established a fit. But I'm sure with six card suits, you've got a fit somewhere, right? If you've got a six card suit, all your partner has to have is two cards in that suit and you've got a fit. When does Declara count her winners when making a plan? As soon as her opponent has led the first card and the dummy comes down, Clara will make her plan or his plan. If they are playing in no trump, whatever level of no trump, if the, if the contract is in no trump, Clara is going to count her winners, how many winners she has. Three no trump, nine winners, two no trump, eight winners, etc. And in the second question, when declare accounts for losers is when you're playing in a suit contract. And if you think about it, it makes sense because you can't count your winners in a suit contract because you can't be sure what your winners are going to be because they may trump them. Right? right? Responses to an opening bit of two clubs. When your partner opens two clubs, they're telling you they have 22 or more points. That's all it means. So how do you respond to it? If you have fewer than eight points, fewer than eight points, and your partner opened two clubs, showing you 22 or more points, your bid is two diamonds. I don't have any diamonds. Your bid is two diamonds. So holding. Just like opening two clubs doesn't necessarily mean you have clubs. It's a point count. So is the response of two diamonds. Partner, I don't have eight points. If your uh, hand has eight points in it and your partner opened two clubs, lucky for you, you got at least 30 points, then your bid is gonna be based on if you have a five card suit. So partner opens two clubs and I've got five hearts five spades, I'll say two spades or two hearts, really? whatever my suit is. If partner opens two clubs and I've got eight points and I've got five clubs, how do I bid my clubs? Three clubs, right? He says two clubs, I say three clubs. If, In other words, if my partner has opened two clubs and I've got five cards in a, in a suit and eight points, I will bid that suit at the cheapest level possible. He says two clubs, I say three clubs. He says two clubs, I say two hearts or two spades. The only difference is diamonds. If I've got eight points and five diamonds and he opens two, two clubs, can I say two diamonds? No. No, because I'm telling him I don't have eight points. In that case, I'll have to say three diamonds. Capiche? Mm -hmm. Am I going too fast? 
So be cool. Filling your head with all kinds of stuff? Yeah. Okay. If my partner opens two clubs and I do not have a five card major, but I do have eight points, I will then say two no trump. Mm -hmm. I will not say three no trump. I will not, I will not, I will not. When you bid game, you're saying <clears throat> done. Two no trump. Can partner pass? No one's passing when somebody <laughs> opens two clubs until they get to game. Gonna end up in game. Okay, one more. The rule of 17. The rule, Florence question? Yeah, what if you have, this happened to me, partner opens up two clubs, you have zero points. I was told to say three clubs, to tell them I'm a, I'm a bust, is that right? No. Two diamonds. Two diamonds. If you say three clubs, you are saying partner, I have eight points and five clubs. Uh -huh. You know what? There, I shouldn't say it's wrong. It's just not the way standard bridge is played. You're gonna have people who are gonna tell you stuff because two diamonds used to have one meaning. I'm, I'm teaching you the modern way to bid. And the modern way to bid is a two diamond bid is some people say holding. You no, know, it's just how you show your partner that you don't have eight points. If your group, if your entire group plays where three clubs means it's a bust, then do it, then do it. Yeah. but I would say educate them on the modern ways of bidding. You know, I'd rather you not get dragged down to incorrect bidding. I'd rather you lift them up to the correct bidding. Thank you. Be the and, yes, I'm, st I'm still a little confused about the transfer bid. You said you start at if somebody started at one spade, and if you no, don't have the transfer bid is a response to no Trump. Oh, just no Trump. Yes. Oh. Partner opens one no Trump. You've got five spades. So you say two hearts. You bid the suit that's under your suit. Why would you say two hearts if you have spades? I, Again, because he it. will then bid spades. Oh. If he bids spades, he's playing it and your hand is on the table as dummy. Otherwise, if you bid it, his hand is on the table as dummy and that's the, that's the rich hand. You don't want all those points shown to everybody. And I got a question on the other. This on, is going to be the last one. Last it's, question. it's almost 11 o'clock already. And I haven't taught anything. I new. want to bid one spade. And I have three spades in my hand. So you need six to 10 points. What if I have four spades in my hand? Same or thing. Five spades in my hand. The five spades bid. in your hand is another story. That is, that is, if you, if you email me, I'll, I'll teach you about the weak freak. Five spades is another story. You could go right to four, four spades on that. If you have four spades in your hand, it's just a little nicer than if you have three spades in your hand. With six to 10 points, whether it's three spades or four spades, partner opens one spade, I'm saying two spades. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, rule of 17. But but Mar that's Marty, right? Bruce. No, the person who asked me before about the oh, five spades. I don't know. It wasn't was Marty? Marty. It was Marty. Sure it was sounded Marty. like Marty. Okay, Marty, if you email me later, I'll I'll respond to you. I'll well, call me later. Okay, Ann. Okay. But I, I do have an answer for you. But I think June knows it. All right, rule of 17. Rule of 17, your partner has made a preempt bid, right? Two diamonds, two hearts, two spades, three of any suit, four of any suit. They have they have made a preempt bid showing six to ten high card points. Two stoppers in that suit. And at the two level, they have six cards. At the three level, they have seven cards. You, they are not at game level. You're trying to decide whether or not to go to game. For example, Linda opens three hearts. That is her opening bid. What does that tell me? That tells me she has seven hearts right. and at least two high cards in hearts and six to 10 high card points. I need to decide whether to pass or go to game, right? I am gonna use the rule of 17 to guide me. And what does the rule of 17 say? I'm gonna look at my hand as the responder to a preempt and I'm gonna count up my high card points. Then I'm going to add to that number how many cards I have in which, in the suit in which my partner preempted. So let's say I have 14 high card points. Remember she preempted three hearts? 
I had four, I have 14 high card points and I've got three hearts in my hand. 14 and three is 17. 17. Oh, I met the rule of 17. I will now go to four hearts. What if I have one heart in my hand and I've got 16 points? Well, you're okay, you still have it. I have the rule of 17, but I may not want to go to game in hearts. Right. Because, well, we've had eight hearts, that's true. Let's do another example. She opens two hearts. She only has six hearts, right? Mm -hmm. She opens two hearts. I've got one heart in my hand, but I've got 17 high card points and one heart. Do I make the rule of 17? No. Yes, I do. Yeah. yeah I have 17 high card points in my hand alone. Plus the one heart that I have for her, I have 18 in my hand. Let me go over it again. I see some blank faces. Partner opens in a preempt. You look at your hand, count your high card points. You add to that the number of point of cards you have in the suit in which your partner preempted. If the total is 17, you go to game. Linda opens two hearts. What does she have? She has six hearts, right? Right. Six to 10 high card points, two stoppers right. and hearts. She has six hearts. I look at my hand, I've got 17 high card points. Already we have the rule of 17. Plus I have one heart. That means I have 18. Number of high card points plus the number of cards I have in her suit. Do I make the rule of 17? Yes. 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 Just my 17 high card points alone makes the rule of 17. <clears throat> but I may not choose to go to game in hearts because together we only have seven. She bid two hearts showing six and I only have one. So what would my bid be? Give me the specific bid. Two no Trump. I can't, no. Two no, Trump is, two no Trump is an invitation. It says we don't have enough. Pass. No. Oh, no, three no Trump. I'll say it again. If we make the rule of 17, I go to game. Two no Trump is not game. Okay. If I have 17 high card points in my hand and one heart, and she preempted two hearts, she made a preempt. I have the rule of 17. And you're going uh -oh. to, right. And you're going to game because the 17 points you have, and you're assuming the partner has uh what um 10? Six. Six. Seven, uh, no, the points, the points is irrelevant. I'm going to game because I am responding to a preempt with the rule of 17. And the rule of 17 again says that if you add your high card points to the number of cards you have in your partner's suit and it equals 17, you go to game. So okay. I'm going to game, but I'm not going to game in her suit because we don't have enough. If I had two hearts or three hearts, I'd go to game in hearts. Got it. So the only other suit to go, to, the only other bid is uh, three no Trump. Right. There's no other bid actually, is there at that point? Could there be? Not if really. I had a phenomenal, let's say, let's say there's the, 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 the distribution is really weird and she's sitting there with six hearts and I'm sitting there with eight spades. All right, but that's- Then I'd go to game in rare. spades. Yeah, of course. All right, you follow what I'm saying? It's really not all that complicated. Okay. All right, I so it tells you what to do if your partner opens in a pre. Okay, I've been playing with uh, rule of 20 also. Could you explain that? I haven't seen it, but. Okay, no? really quickly. <laughs> rule of 20 is for openers. Rule of 20 says, did I teach you the rule of 20 yet? No. 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 Okay, I'm not, I'm not gonna answer any questions about it because I have a half an hour left. Proceed. And I haven't taught one okay. thing. Well, I'm, not in my book, I haven't taught one new thing. It might be new for you, but it, it shouldn't have been new. Rule of 20 says, if you're an opener and you have um, you don't have 13 points, you have 12 points, but you have two four card suits, you can open. So in other words, I'll, I'll, I'll give you the rule specifically. If you add your openers, not responders, not over callers, if you add your high card points, to the number of cards in your two longest suits. High card points to the number of cards you have in your two longest suits. 
Got that? If the total equals 20, you can open. So if you have 12 high card points and two four card suits, how many high card points do you have? 12. 12. Wow. How many cards in your two longer suits? Eight. 12 eight. and eight, 20, you can open. Okay, thank you. Now, if both of your four card suits are majors, you could still open, you just won't open either one of those suits. You'll open one of the minors, right? Right. Same thing, you have 11 high card points. You have a five card suit and a four card suit. How many high card points do you have? 11. 11. How many cards in your two longest suits? Nine. nine. 11 and nine? 20. 20. Mazel tov. Okay, we're good? Thank you. Very nice. Okay. Did we go over the, the hands on page eight? Please say no. yes. Yeah. No. 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 <laughs> yes. It was homework. No. I'm crying. I did. Want to make me cry here? We did. Right. No, it was so, for homework. No, okay, let's go it over homework. it. It was done. Whether or not it was for homework, I don't care. Let's go over <laughs> it now. I don't mean to shut you up, but really, really got to go on. Okay, dealer is eased. Dealer has five, seven, eight, and six. 14 high card points, correct? Yes. One point for the extra diamond, 15 points. What would you like dealer to open? One no trump. Thank you. No. Yes. <laughs> you can have a five card minor suit. You can't have a five card major suit and open it. It's 15 to 17 high card points. You only got 14. Oh, 14, sorry. Didn't you say? No, I you have 14 high card points. Oh, it's 14 high card points. I thought it was 15 high card mm -hmm. points. No, it's no, one diamond. 15 total. Yes. One diamond. Can't open that hand, one no trump. Thank you. 14 high card points, one diamond. Okay. South will overcall. Two hearts. South. Anybody get that? Did anybody yep. have that? Yes, yes. Six cards. Good for you if you had that. A two heart overcall because she's making a preempt. If she were the dealer, she would have opened two hearts. And if she overcalls two hearts, it's very clear what she's doing. She's not making a simple overcall. Remember, we talked about that when I first taught you preempts, that if you're overcall, you can overcall a preempt if it's very clear. The only possible reason for a two heart overcall would mean that she actually has a two heart opening bid. Otherwise, she would have overcalled one heart. Right. So she bids two hearts. Her partner knows that she has six to 10 high card points, six hearts with two honors and hearts, all of which she has, correct? Yeah. Okay. West, I mean, West has five diamonds. I, you can give her three points for the singleton heart now. I don't think she'd bid three diamonds. I probably would pass with that. Her partner may only have three diamonds. She doesn't know her partner has five diamonds. I probably would pass. But even if somebody were to bid three diamonds as West, mm -hmm. North will still bid the same thing. What is North's bid? It's coming. Four hearts. Four hearts following the rule of 17 that I just taught you. More than a partner made a preempt. Let's count North's points. Seven and seven is 14, 15 high card points. Am I correct? Yes. Yep. Yeah, it's 15. 15 high card points. How many cards in her partner's suit? Four. four. 15 and four is 19. More than meets what you need for the rule of 17. Plus she has that juicy little singleton diamond there, that ace of diamonds. Absolutely goes to four hearts. Pass, pass, pass. Did everybody have four hearts as the bid? No. No, I had three. Six. But now you understand why it's four? Yes. 
with the rule of 17. Okay, so the lead is going to come from? Um, uh, south. No. No, no, south. No, south, south is the declarer. West. 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 Oh, the lead. It's going to come from west. Of course, west. Yeah. The contract is for heart. South is the declarer. West is going to lead. West will lead her partner's bid suit. Right? Right. So let's have the five of diamonds come down on the table. Not going to lead a king because her partner is going to play high. And as soon as the, the dummy comes down on the table, West says a bad word she sees that singleton ace of diamonds and she knows they're not going to take any diamond tricks. You don't have to say a bad word, but it helps. <laughs> okay. South is going to count her tricks. What tricks is she going to count? Winners or losers? You oh. count the losers. Count the losers, baby. You're in a suit contract. Aren't you supposed to bid highest of your partner's suit? I mean, lead highest. Of your partner's it depends suit? what you have. It depends what you have. Do you have a doubleton? If you have a doubleton, you do. I thought if your partner bids a suit and you're leading into it, you show them your highest so they know where the honor is. If honor. you have a doubleton. No. No? Because your partner is going to play her highest card. Third hand plays high. Uh -huh. So, yes, if you have an ace, you're going to lead it. An ace in your partner's suit, you lead it. Now play the five of diamonds, fourth down from your longest, from fourth down from your highest card. Uh, okay, let's go suit by suit and let's see how many losers she has. In spades, how many losers? One. She has one loser. She's got three spades in her hand. She's got the king, which is a winner because her partner has the ace, right? She can't lose that king. She's got a little one that's going to go out on her partner's ace. Then she's got this other one that is not going to do anything any good for her. Unless she could drop it off on something. We'll see about that. Okay, so let's count one loser in spades. And you can keep a tally. In hearts, how many losers does she have? One. One. She can't help but lose the ace of hearts. In diamonds, how many losers does she have? Zero. None. She doesn't lose any diamonds because she's got the ace. And then after that, she could trump. Now, here's the thing. She's got two potential losers in clubs. See the king jack? Yep. If she leads a club and the ace and queen are where they are, she could lose her jack to her opponent's queen and her king to her opponent's ace. She's void. What? She's void in clubs. No, she's not void. The 10 and 5 of clubs was shifted over to the right. Well, it's sad. Sad is void in clubs. No, she's not. No. She's got the 10 and the 5. Look it's at in the, the clubs. Wrong place. Just look oh, to the right. 10 and the 5 got shifted <laughs> over. You have to move them underneath. She's got two clubs. If she was void, she'd be only have 11, 11 cards in her hand. So she, she has the potential to lose two clubs. Why are the clubs out over there? Is that a mistake? Why are, yeah. the, why are the clubs losers? No, why that the clubs are over to the side? Is that a mistake? It's because a something, happened in the, something happened in the shifting. Don't worry about that. Okay. That's my issue. <laughs> okay. So she has the potential to lose two clubs, one heart, and one spade. So she's going to have to drop off a club somewhere or a spade somewhere. Does anyone see any place to do that? On the It's not gonna be easy. Possibly on a heart. It's, it's not gonna be easy. easy. All right, easy. let's see, let's see, let's go through this. Three of, diamonds, Three of diamonds, ace of diamonds, ace of diamonds. Oh, I don't know why I hear my oh, voice. I don't in know an why echo. I hear my voice. In an echo. Somebody has two devices on. Four of diamonds from east. Three of diamonds from south. Okay, time to pull Trump. 
Yeah. She is on the board. This is a shame. Two of hearts. Let's say East makes it difficult and doesn't play the ace. Eight of hearts. Ten of uh, ten of hearts. Seven of hearts. So now she's played one round of hearts and she's counted and she knows there's one heart left, right? And she knows it's the ace. How does she know it's the ace? Because you pay attention to the ace of trump. So if there's only one heart left and it's the ace, should we con continue to play hearts? No. You're only wasting two hearts. Or... So let's see what else we could do. We won that trick. Oh, this is where the bad news starts. We won that trick in our, our hand. So since we're not gonna play hearts anymore, and I don't think she's gonna make this contract, she leads the 10 of clubs. She's trying to finesse. <sighs> Low club from West. And what should she play from her hand? The three or the queen? The jack. She doesn't have the queen. She has the king jack. Three, king. three or the king. Well, three. the jack is no. The jack wouldn't make sense because you fled the ten. You're not going to beat the, the the ten with the jack. Then the king. She well, third hand usually plays high, but I'm thinking, I'm hoping, I'm hoping that West had the queen and didn't play it. That's what I'm hoping. I'm hoping that West has the queen and East has the ace. And East will play the ace on my 10, and I'll get my king jack good, my king good. It's oh, not yeah. going to happen. She leads the 10 from her hand, low club from west, the four from east, uh, from north, sorry. When and the queen comes out, queen comes out from east. That's one trick, one trick for east. Now she plays the ace of clubs. Gets out south's five, low club from west, low club from north. That's two tricks, the east, the ace and queen of clubs. Yes. Now she leads the ace of hearts. Right. Ace mm -hmm. of hearts. Oh wait, no, that's, it's gonna be okay. I think it's going to be okay. Yeah. No, it's not going to be. It's not going to be okay. Ace of hearts, low heart. Uh, West drops off a diamond or a club. It doesn't matter. And a low heart from north. That's three tricks. So, what is she going to lead now? Well, if she leads a club. She's looking at the dummy and she sees the king jack. If she leads a club, if East leads the club, looking at that king jack and the dummy, then Declara will make her contract. Do you know why Declara will make her contract? Because if she plays, if East plays a club, Clara will win that trick with the king and the dummy, dummy, mm -hmm. and she'll be able to drop off a spade. That's so here's the mistake that East could make. She could play a club, which would make no sense. That doesn't make sense. South, South will drop off a spade in her hand. West will play the nine or whatever. North will win it in her hand in, in the dummy. And because South dropped off a spade, then she doesn't lose a spade. You see that? Mm -hmm. But if I were East, I'd never play a club back. What I'd play back is a spade. Right. Oh, it's still going to be okay. Yes. Still going to be okay. East leads a spade. South plays low. West plays high with the queen. North takes it with the ace. It's going to be okay. I just threw a way out of this. So East plays back a spade. She plays the three of spades. After she wins the ace queen of clubs, she plays back Why the three of spades. Why would West use the, the queen? West can when see the dummy has the ace. Wouldn't West throw off a low spade? 
Oh, okay. Doesn't really matter. Yeah, she'll so she'll play a ten. She won't play a low. Um, three. She knows she's going to lose to the ace, so why yeah, not that's play true. the lowest? That's true. Because I'm concentrating on getting rid of it. It doesn't really matter. But yeah, she'll probably probably play the the eight. Mm -hmm. East plays the three. South plays the two. West plays the eight because that will force the ace out anyway. Okay. Yeah, it's irrelevant. It's, it's not going to make a difference. But yeah, she'll play the eight. Yeah. So now north is back. North is back. Uh, south is back in the dummy, right? She just won yeah. it with the ace of spades. She could now play her king and jack of, of clubs. Okay. So she plays her king of clubs and she drops off. She drops off the other spade, right? Yeah. Cool. She drops off the spade. She plays uh, the, the jack of clubs, drops off the diamond, plays a low spade to the king, and then all that's left is trump. Yeah. And so that's you, how she makes and, and that's how she makes it and you want us to analyze this while we're playing bridge with people it'll take an hour for oh, me no <laughs> the more you analyze it the more you're comfortable with it that's why that's why i say deal out this hand pull out the cards get a feel for how the flow of the cards goes remember how the dummy comes down on the table in columns i have a question yeah. I wasn't here last week. I don't know what which hand you're talking about. Are you re going on to page eight? Eight. Oh, that's why I don't have page. Okay, eight. now we're doing the second hand on page eight. Okay. And that's all the time we've <laughs> Dealer is north. Okay. What is north's opening bid? Second hand on page eight. Okay. What is north's yeah. opening bid? Pass. Pass. North pass. is going to pass. What is East's opening bid? Pass. Oh. Let's talk about it. East has yeah, 5, 10, 12 high card points. Right? Yeah, we just learned that yeah, we just learned 12. the rule of 20. 20. So it's She's 12. got five, 12 high card points, two four card suits. 12 and 8 makes 20. Yeah, rule of 20. With the rule of 20, East will open. What is one East? Club. One one club. Club. Michael, you're 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 uh you're frowning at me. Do no, you understand no. what I no, of course I understand. I was wondering which one to open with would be one heart. How can you How open you... one heart with four hearts? No. That's not right. So I was I, as I was saying it was one club. <laughs> one club. Yes, one club. <laughs> Let's open one heart. How could I open one heart? Okay. Well, you could, right. but you'd be one... shot. Yeah, I get it. Could, but you'll be shot. Six right. countries, you'll be arrested. Okay. One club is the opening bid for East. Oh my God, does South have an overcall or what? South has seven, nine, 13 high card points, plus three points for the extra spades, 16 points in her hand. If she doesn't say one spade, I don't know what. One club, one spade by South. What will West do in response to her partner's opening bid? Pass. Pass. Here's the thing. You say if South pass. had overcalled in any other suit, if South had overcalled in clubs, well, she couldn't overcall in clubs. If no, South had overcalled in hearts, Mm -hmm. Then yeah. West could have said one no trump as a response to her partner's opening bid, right? Yeah. She's got she's yeah. got eight points, but you don't oh you don't say one no trump when you have nothing in the suit in which your opponent overcalled. So your opponent has at least five spades. I probably would pass with that. I would pass. All right. North is responding to her partner's overcall of one spade. Certainly can't support the spades. Can North say two diamonds? Count the points before you say yes. Three, four, five, six, seven. seven. No, she don't have 11. That's right. So what will she say? Yes. Yes. Oh, no. You don't pass with oh, right, six right, points. Right, right, right. right. Uh, one Florence, no. you tell us. You seem to know. One, one no. Trump. One no Trump. Right. Any okay. day of the week. I've got five, seven, eight points. I'm going to bid. 
I pass with that. I've just told my partner I don't have the six points. She can't bid her diamonds because she doesn't have enough points. So she bids one no trump. Remember that garbage bid? Yeah. She does six have six points. points. She does have six points. That's why she's bidding one no trump and she's not passing. But she can't support her partner's suit. No. So her one no trump bid in response says, partner, I have six to 10 points. I can't support your suit. All of which is true. Okay. East is not going to make another bid. With the rule of 20, your partner doesn't even support you. You're done. Yes. So South is going to bid again. Because no Trump is not what she wants. Spades is what she wants. Can she repeat her spades? Yes. 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 She certainly has six. In fact, she has seven. So I think because she has such beautiful spades and she's got that singleton and that doubleton that she could show a little bit of extra value by jumping in spades. Instead of saying two spades, she will say three spades. And as we were supposed to learn today, <laughs> that means that she has some extra points. We'll get to whatever we get to. Uh, all right, so she says three spades. Is that an invitation? Yes. 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 It says, partner, if you have a little extra, then you can go to game. I don't know. It's very I, I don't think she has I don't think she has enough north to go no. to four spades. I don't think so. I think she has all those losers at heart. She doesn't know her partner has a singleton. And together well, they only have. Three I points. probably would pass on three spades. He's yeah. showing at least. Uh, South is showing at least sixteen points. She doesn't have right. fifteen. She has at least sixteen. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, and six, and seven. North has eight seven, points, seven, nine eight. points. Ooh. Eight. Seven. She got seven points. It's it's iffy. Now, would I go to four spades on that? Yes, but I'm giving you a different standard here because you're still relative beginners. Let's see if she makes four spades. I would go to four spades. I would suggest that she doesn't have quite enough for a beginner to go to four spades, but let's see. Okay, so if the contract is three spades, let's count the losers after the lead. Who's leading? West again. Okay. Now, her partner opened clubs. So she could lead a low club. And let's try that. She also has that doubleton and diamonds, but let's have her lead the low club because her partner did clubs. Six of clubs comes down on the table and the dummy comes down on the table and South counts for losers. In spades, any losers? No. No. Now, you're not allowed to look at West and East when you determine okay, that. Okay. One. Because South can South has the potential of losing the jack of spades. Yes. Why? South is missing five spades. If one of her opponents has all five spades that she's missing and one of them is the jack, she loses it. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Now, we know that's not the case because we have the advantage of seeing all four hands, but South does not. South only sees her hand, her partner's hand, and that little six of clubs that's on the table. So, but she probably, probably doesn't lose any spades. Did we talk about the five, six, seven, eight? Did I ever no. teach you that? No. 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 Okay. Most of the time when you play, you have eight trump, right? That's the most typical amount of trump that you have together is eight. You and your partner together have eight trump, right? Right. So the vast majority of the time when you're missing trump, you're missing five trump. With me? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Usually you have five and three, maybe six and two. In this case, it's seven and one. You have seven trump and your partner has one. So when you're missing five trump, Think of five, six, seven, eight. I'll write it down here. As soon as I can erase this. 
it's a good it's a good thing to go by a good uh, benchmark five six seven eight when you're missing five trump sixty seven point eight percent of the time they're split three and two when you're missing five trump sixty seven point eight percent of the time this the yeah. trump that you're missing are split three and two three in one opponent's hand and two in the other opponent's hand that makes sense sure mm -hmm. so in other words if you don't want to remember the exact numbers the vast majority of the time the five trump are split three and two which they are in this case right yes. does it mean it happens every time no but it means that it's a guy two out of three You're muted. You know, you she's not going to lose any spades. Michael, question? No, no, I didn't hear you for a moment, but okay, go ahead. Okay. All right, so let's count no losers in spades. In hearts, how many losers does she have? One. One. She definitely has a loser in hearts, but only one, because she has a singleton right. in her hand. She can't lose more than that. In diamonds, how many losers does she have? One. 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 Well, one, maybe two. Depending where the ace is. Depending where the ace is. If if she plays low to the king and east plays the ace, she mm. could lose yeah. another diamond because she has three of them in her hand. Okay. okay. She could lose to the ace okay. and the jack. Four. And I was very one. mean and I put the ace and the jack in the wrong place. Okay. All right. so I mean, time. wrong for her. Okay, see so okay, so if she loses one heart, two diamonds, and she could lose a club too. Mm -hmm. It's likely that she loses a club. Mm -hmm. well, Unless somebody makes a crazy mistake and leads the king, no one's going to lead the king. Then she gets the ace and the queen. Mm -hmm. So if she loses one heart, one club, and two diamonds, she doesn't make her contract. Oh, yes, she does. She's in three spades. She doesn't make the contract of four spades. She doesn't make the contract of four spades. So that's what I meant when I said it's a little iffy if she makes four spades. So you'd have to do some fancy footwork to make four spades here. So that's why I don't advise it for a beginner. It was very iffy whether to go to four spades. Okay, so let's, let's see what happens with the six of clubs. I'm going to go really quickly. Six of clubs is led. She plays low, the five of clubs from the dummy. East plays high, the jack of clubs. And South takes it with the ace. Okay? No losers yet. Now she starts to pull trump from her hand. Ace of spades. Low spade from west. Singleton from north. Low spade from east. First, she nine. counted. She was missing five spades. She saw two of them come out from her opponent's hands. That means they have three more. Let's get them out. King of spades. Four of spades from west. What would you like her to drop off? A heart, maybe. I, mean, I, like, uh, like I mean, if she had any trump left, if she had any trump left in her hand, she could drop off the clubs to try to avoid herself in clubs to trump them, but she doesn't have any trump left. So that's not going to do her any good. Follow what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. If she had Trump in her hand, she could try to throw off the clubs. But if, then again, if she had Trump in her hand, she wouldn't be throwing off the clubs because she'd have to play the Trump. So uh, I think a heart. The heart is basically useless for her. So throw off the heart. All right. So she played the king of spades, a low spade from west, a low heart from north, jack of spades from east. The only spade he has left. Now she's counting. One more spade left. Let's get it out. Queen of spades. Eight of spades. Four of hearts. What can East throw off? Club. Oh, we're not gonna be able to do it. You know what? A diamond. I think a heart. Because uh -huh. that would be a signal to her partner that she's got an ace in a suit. If her partner takes the lead, 
She's telling her partner, that's a suit I want you to play back for me. Did she play the nine or the two? The two. Really? Play the lowest one. It's, it's your first discard, Florence. A discard, guys, is a suit that is a card that you throw that you throw out because you can't follow suit and you're not trumping. So she's discarding. On her first discard, she's showing her best suit. So there's no reason you have to play a nine. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Okay. So now she's in her hand. She's pulled out all the trump. Time to finesse. She could play a heart. It's not going to do her any good. Let's play the diamond. Maybe, maybe it'll be lucky for her. She plays a low diamond. West plays low. She's got to play high. She plays the king. East plays the ace. That's her first trick that she's lost, isn't it? Yeah. Right. First trick that she's lost. What would you like her to play back? East. East took the trick with the ace of diamonds. What would you like East to play back? Uh, so there's... There's a little mantra that says left heft, right light, which means that if the dummy is on your right, you play to the weakness of the dummy. Jesus. Yeah. So I think I think I'd like her to play back, play her ace of hearts. Hello. Ace of hearts. Please mute yourself if you're going to talk on the phone. Six of hearts, five of hearts, and seven of hearts. What time are you going to come Thursday? People, I hear your phone call. Please mute yourself if you're on the phone. Okay. Okay, so she takes the ace of diamonds, she takes the ace of hearts. Uh, she can play back. I think she played back a low heart because yeah. there's nothing on the board for hearts, the hearts are low. So after she takes the ace, she's gonna play back a low heart. Why is she playing back a heart when south is out? Oh. She doesn't know South is out. Oh. She doesn't know South is out. North is the dummy. North is the dummy. I wanted to see if you, you guys went, whoa, why is she doing that? She doesn't know North uh, South is out. So she plays back a heart. South trumps it. South will play. Hmm. South's going to lose two diamonds. South, uh, and I really have to stop. South will play after South trumps it. After South trumps that heart, she plays back a diamond, plays the queen on it. East plays low. And then she's she's going to give up a spade trick. I mean, a club trick and a diamond trick. So she loses four tricks. I mean, if I had more time to think about it, I might find a way for her not to do it, but I don't see it. I don't see a way for her not to do it. If the ace or the jack either one were sitting in West's hand, she wouldn't have lost two diamonds and she would have made four spades. But because the ace and the jack are sitting in the wrong hand, she loses it. She loses a club. She loses to the king of clubs, the ace jack of diamonds, and the ace of hearts. Four tricks. It's a lot. I went really fast. I've taught you nothing new today. I am sorry about that. I would like you to go over pages nine through, oh my God, nine through 11 nine. on open a second bid so that when I go over it next week with you, it's not gonna be new information. Go over it a couple of times. 